Good afternoon, everybody. A very warm welcome back to our On Chair presentation series. Uh, as you know, my name is Barry. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager here at Bixton Travel. And uh, we've been doing these for quite some time. It's great to find some uh, exclusive and boutique little places uh, around Australia. And this is uh, no exception. Very pleased today to introduce you to Rick and Kathy, who uh, are the, the beautiful owners of a sensational property out in South Australia. But I'm not going to spoil their thunder. I'm going to hand straight over to them and I'll be back to you in a a short while. Kathy and Rick, all over to you. Thank okay, you. thanks. Okay, guys, uh, hopefully you can see the screen now. So, Kath and I, obviously, husband and wife, and we own the, the uh, Frames Luxury Accommodation in the uh, Riverland. In South Australia. Right. So, hopefully, you can see the, um, the next uh, slide. Has that come up? Yes, it has, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, it's overlooking the Murray River, and, and that's really the hero in the area, is the Murray River. So the retreat on the left-hand side is a one-bedroom. The one in the middle is one bedroom. And the third one is two-bedroom. But each one of these retreats has its own private pool, private spa, sauna, uh, full indoor kitchens, outdoor kitchens, very large en-suites and bedrooms. So even though it looks... Um, not that big from the outside, they are quite long, but very private. Um, and uh, there's no sort of common areas in, in the frames at all. So at the moment we're quite busy is because I think people do like the fact that they can come to the frames and be quite isolated from other, other people. Um, there's a small video here, hopefully that'll work. When we talk about luxury, what are we really looking for? That first impression when you walk in is everything. Those fine details that make you smile. The fresh food and wine grown a stone's throw away. Your own totally private escape. A unique twist that makes this place yours. Never having to leave your space for anything. But most important of all, luxury is in the location. Because some things can't be built. Only frame. The frames. World class luxury has come to the Riverland. Okay, guys, this is where uh, we're situated. Uh, the nearest town is Remark. Um, we're right on the Murray River. So we're about a three hour drive from Adelaide or an hour and a half from Mildura. Um, so we, we've got a luxury van. We can pick people up who fly in from Adelaide or, or Mildura. Remembering, um, particularly with Mildura, you know, there's about four or five flights every day from, from Melbourne to Mildura. And there are also now flights from Sydney to Mildura. Um, a lot of people are doing a self-drive, who uh, starting off in Melbourne, doing the Great Ocean Road, coming up into the Grampians, and then doing the, the Silo Art Trail on through Mildura and on to us. So that, and then they continue on to go to the Bross or, or Adelaide. So they really are getting quite distinct experiences along the Great Ocean Road into the Grampians, obviously, and then coming to us on the Murray River and then on onto Adelaide. And along the way is the silo art trail, which um, you probably know about, but um, they're wheat silos that have been painted by different people. And there's eight along that stretch and they're, they're about 40 kilometers apart. So it just makes a nice drive, um, shortens the drive, you know, to stop along the way and to look at something quite different. So that's um, worth doing. It's just frozen for a minute. Here we go. So, yeah, Kath and I, uh, obviously husband and I, from, we own the frames. We built the frames only six years ago. Um, we live here all our lives. We're citrus and wine grape growers. Our families have been with third generation in the area. We love the area. We love the river. And that's the main reason why we, we built the frames, to try and get people to be able to come to this area and appreciate the area. Uh, the Riverland's one of the biggest food bowls in Australia. 
but it really is the Murray River that makes it quite special and unique. What makes us unique? Um, I guess we're, you know, we are family owned. Kath and I own it, um, and, every, run it. and run it. Um, and I think that's really, you know, one of the things that guests really do love, the fact that they obviously can see our passion for the area and passion for the frames. Um, everything we do is private. Um, we have some tailored um, experiences that we'll talk about later on, but once again, they're private. We own them and run them. We thought that was really important from the beginning um, that, we, that we run them so we control the quality of those um, experiences. And all the people that uh, work with us are all local, so you know they know the area um, right in the back of their hands as well. So I'll just keep going through now. So we've got a chef that'll come and um, cook at the property. So he'll come and do a three course meal. He prepares it there, cooks it, does the dishes and disappears, which is really nice. Um, he'll also do three course meals that um, I can deliver that he prepares and they just have to be heated up. So I just leave instructions. Beautiful meals, um, you know, beautifully displayed. And um, we've got bar barbecue packs he does as well with salads. Um, we're about five minutes from town. So there's restaurants in town as well, or um, we've got four kitchens and barbecues. So if they wanted to go to the shops, we've got Woolies and they can get their own food to cook for themselves. So this quickly gives you an idea how large the retreats are. Obviously to the left, out in the decks is the river. So each, each retreat has its own private deck. You can see they're all uh, three different pools there. So each retreat is quite different. The top one, once again, is a one bedroom. The middle one's one bedroom. And the last one is two bedroom. Um, but the, because they're at different heights, um, it's the, each retreat is very private. You can't see into any other retreat. You can't hear any others. So, and there's, because we don't have any sort of common areas, people can come here and feel quite safe that uh, they're by themselves. So Pastiche um, has the bedroom at the front of the property overlooking the river. And then you've got your um, kitchen, lounge and dining area towards the back. You've got an outdoor heated pool, it's not moving. <laughs> it's skipped through, sorry. So it's got an outdoor heated pool as well. And an indoor, um, bar bar and a hydrotherapy spa um, and a sauna as well in, in the bathroom. The middle one, this is the one you step down into in montage. It's got your large outdoor area. So you've got a heated pool, outdoor hydrotherapy spa, you've got a bath, you can bath under the stars. You've got an infrared sauna outside as well. You've got, your, um, all the bathrooms are different, but you've got double showers. Your lounge is at the front of this one um, and I look in the room and it's just showing you the outside again of that one. So it's all very private, just for the couple. The next one is Collage, which is a two bedroom property. So two bedrooms, two bathrooms, identical. So there's no arguments who gets the better room. It's got a hydrotherapy spa room in the middle, which you can see there. Your lounge and uh, kitchen areas overlooking the river. And there's your lap pool, beautiful colours at night. Um, and then obviously your balcony over the river. They've all got uh, massage beds, um, king size drawers, beds, you name know, it, everything's there for them. And as we know, there's one thing having great accommodation, but you've got to have something for people to do. And as I was talking about before, we've got these great experiences that we've developed from day one, um, that we own and run. And the great thing about that, obviously, we control the quality of those experiences but it's really important from your guest point of view little things like people want to sleep in for an hour they can you know if they ring us in the morning we can put things off um so because we own it and run it ourselves so the first one we've got is this beautiful old wooden gondola it's over 100 years old and once again really important that to understand that we don't mix retreats so 99 percent of the time it's just two guests um, unless they know each other or have come together. So this is, uh, as I said, about a two hour tour. We have champagne, local produce, uh, come back at, uh, as the sun's setting, really relaxing. Uh, the old motor just sort of chugs along. People just absolutely love it. It's a beautiful old boat um, that, that has been restored, restored over hundred years old. Lots of bird life, we see koalas as well. It's, it's great. And this is what I love doing, is getting out and really showing people 
just how beautiful this river is. So we've um, had a, a boat um, specially designed for us, um, only 12 months old, that allows uh, people to be up a lot higher to be able to see over the banks and see more of the wildlife. Here's just a short video also that'll give you an idea of just how beautiful it is. is about five five hours long um, you know blue coffee have to always make some low, some um, fresh um, chocolate slice um, um, then as you can see we stopped out in the middle of somewhere so hopefully you'll get by themselves just enjoying a, a lovely lunch and someone's there already who's set up the table and chairs champagne and then cooks the food so we just rock up there everything's sort of set up just to you know they're always shocked because we never never really let them know exactly what we're doing. Most people think they're just gonna get a sandwich. And then the last one is uh, what we call the flavored safari. And most people don't realize the Riverland is one of the biggest food bowls in Australia. And um, we've partnered with people like ourselves who are passionate about what they do in the area. And it's really your guests, once again, one-on-one, -on -one, sitting down and listening to their, to their stories and their passion. We go to a a coffee house um, with a husband and wife only in their early 30s who he was a full-time builder and she's a physio and about five years ago they gave it away to, to roast coffee um, and they got a fantastic shop in the old fire station but it's your guests going through their plant seeing how you know their computer and all their different beans and everything but listening to his passion and what he's what he's done we go to almond co which is one of the biggest almond factories in australia do a tour through there. We go to Ango's Distillery, one of the oldest distilleries in Australia. Fantastic tour there. We have lunch at Mallee Estates Winery. Um, a Greek family owns this winery. Uh, Mum and dad came out 60 odd years ago, picked grapes, you know, got bought their own vineyard, and now their sons are involved. Um, and you know, that it's just once again your guys sitting down listening to their story of their lives, and then they end up having a beautiful uh uh, lunch in their Greek restaurant who Nuna provides. And then we follow up at the end of the day, and this is about a seven hour tour at the Woolshed Brewery. Now this is a fantastic brewery actually in an in a old shearing shed right on the river and one of the oldest stations in South Australia. Just a, a fantastic setting out in the middle of nowhere on the river in a shearing shed where you can still smell the, the sheep done and just beautiful furniture. Yeah, just really relaxing. Um, once again, there's just a small video that gives you a bit of an idea of what it's about. Uh, the Flavor Safari has come back about four years ago, and the idea is to showcase the food and beverages that we uh, have here in uh, Renmark. You get a chance to speak to uh, the growers and the producers of their great products and uh, get behind the scenes and hear their stories on uh, what they actually do. And uh, we can't wait to uh, see you on one of our little flavour safaris.
you know, I think one of the great things about our experiences, you know, um, all the places we go to are, you know, the, probably the longest we travel is about 10 minutes. So, you know, it's not as though guests have got to get in a, in a bus with other people and travel, you know, two or three hours to get to a place and then come back. So, you know, uh, our, all our river trips obviously just start down at the bottom of the, the river from us. And uh, as I said, even with the flavoured safari, it, it's only 10 minutes between the sites. So, yeah. So that, and we've got um, a lady that we go on the next one yep. that um, will come and do massages at the property. So she'll do um, she'll come in and, and do do them at the retreats, which is really nice. Um, can we keep going? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, and I've set up some packages. So I've got two and three night packages. The three night packages is probably the better one because it includes lots of um, most things we have. So. Um, three nights accommodation, you get a chef one evening, uh, a barbecue another night, and a three course meal um, delivered the other night. Yeah, the first night we normally do the gondola cruise, the next day we'll do the wetland safari, normally the last day we'll do the flavour safari. So it's all inclusive, all meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, mini bar. Mini, full mini bar. Uh, so we we'll set to $1,000 per person per night and that's a commissionable so with virtuoso it's 12 percent commission for you guys um, but the package seems to work out really well because um you know that they're all looked after the whole time they're they're with us um and if you book um i generally shoot you an email when they've arrived and just say that they've, they've made it and they're happy or whatever and just keep you informed during their stay what they're up to and maybe you know, They've taken any pictures or something they haven't been sent through. I'll send you through a picture, but um, just so that you know that that everything's going well. So that's basically us in a nutshell. Where we not only the package you can do, you can book just a nightly rate, which includes breakfast. Um, three retreats have different prices for that, but um, um, like I said, the packages just make it easier because then everything's done for them basically. Fabulous. A lot of people do suggest, though, when they've been there three days for doing the package, that they wish they'd had an extra night um, to be able to sort of chill out and relax and enjoy the, the frames itself. So the pools are all heated too, um, all, year all, all year round, you know. So even during winter, it's a really nice place to come. Obviously, you've got gas fires, and, um, you know, the great thing when we do the get, get out in the wildlife, we, we, we have campfires out there too, which is, you know. If Kath and I uh, ever go up river, that's when we prefer to go out in the middle of winter, more bird life, and that's quieter. So, it's quite, like so you, fire. yeah, so you can, it's enjoyable both summer and winter, and we're, you know, open all year round. <laughs> Fabulous. So, yet another place added to my bucket list. Um, beautiful uh, destination, some great inclusions there. Uh, just to remind those that are watching, of course, our virtuoso travel advisors are the best place to to help you out you can give us a call in the office on nine double three nine zero um two double seven uh or of course you can pop in and see us uh, rick and kathy thank you very very much uh for showcasing your beautiful property um i uh, hope to get there myself one day and uh wish you all the very best thanks again appreciate your time thank you bye bye